the people of the cross. We are the people of the we cross. We choose Christ and count all else as lost. Christ and count all else as lost. We are the people of the cross. Good morning. People of the Cross Church, we're located on Highway 152 in the center of where Baskin Robbins is located. We would love to invite you to come down to church. You are there seeking a good church to come to and just want to come and worship and would appreciate the fact of what God has given us that we can share with you and give to you the blessing of Jesus Christ. I love coming to you from Psalms. There are many good passages in Psalms, but today I'm coming to you from chapter 143 in Psalms, and I'm going to start with verse 10, and it's talking about teaching me. Teach me to do your will, Lord. It's your will, Father. It's not ours. Our will gets us in trouble, but your will will lead us and direct us in the right path. For you are my God. You are my God. I'm not God. My friends aren't God. There are no other gods. No, no Buddha, no Confucius, none of the others. It has to be one and only Jesus Christ, the Lord and Savior and God of all that created this earth. And he sent his son that died for your sins. That's who we're talking about here. Your spirit is good. Lead me into a land of righteousness. You know, it talks about in other parts of the book here, it says, Righteousness for your name's sake. That is what we're talking about. The land of upright refers to the resurrection of Jesus Christ when he was slain on the cross, but he rose again. That is what it made it able for him to have redemption, to redeem us from our sins, that we can someday be with him in heaven. Verse 11, it says, Quicken me, O Lord, for your name's sake. For your righteousness' sake, bring my soul out of trouble. Talking about out of darkness. Make me alive. Rebirth me. You know when you become in the family of Christ, you are reborn. That's what we consider second birth. And that's the only and last birth that you ever have to remember and, and go by. Sure, we have our biological birth, but if you want to be with Jesus Christ, you have to be reborn. You have to be rebirthed. And that's what the scripture is talking about. And it says, make me alive. I want to be like you, Father. I want to follow after your footsteps, which refers to the resurrection again. How does it keep coming back to that? Because Jesus Christ died for your sins. He died that you can be saved. This prayer was the answer for your namesake. Who's your namesake? Of course, it's yourself. It's yourself. He died for you. He cared enough that he died for you. Wherever you are at, and you think nobody cares about you, Jesus Christ died. He laid his life down for you. He wants you to come into him and ask for forgiveness. I go over this in each this time, but I think it's so important. God says we're to seek the lost and the dying. So wherever you're at, come down. Welcome. You can, right where you're at, you can be saved where you're at. You're in prison. You're out in the middle. Maybe you're getting ready to commit suicide. I don't know what your thoughts are or who you are or where you're at, but God does. He does so much. He has mercy for you that he died. He sent his only son to die for you. That's how much he cared about you. And for those of you just looking for a good church to come down and, and visit and worship and feel the power of the Spirit of God and the Holy Spirit when you walk through the door, come and visit us. You will be glad you did. You might just decide to make it your home church, and we would welcome you. But I want you all to know, God loves you. He has mercy for you. He has kindness for you, and above all, his love is without understanding. It's all about God's love. And it says, of your mercy cut off my enemies and destroy all of them afflicted my soul, for I am your servant. I am a servant of God. It's talking, the prayer 
of this verse, it will answer you in your conclusion in the millennium reign, but it also talks about here within the, within the Psalms that how much God cares about you, what's coming up against you in life. Let Him handle your troubles. He will take care of it. Don't take it in our own hands. God has the power to do it on His own. But the more you give to Him, the more He gives to you. He loves you. Remember today, for God gave His only begotten Son, that whoever who believeth in Him should not perish, but they should have everlasting life. This is Pastor Scott from the desk of People of the Cross in Los Banos. God bless till the next time. We are the people of the cross. We are the people of the we cross. We choose Christ and count all else as lost. Christ and count all else as lost. We are the people of the cross.